Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Beep. Are we on? We're on. Okay. Welcome to Cut the Tape. Now, if you saw this week's TFYLP, which airs Monday nights, you might have seen that I was also recording a Cut the Tape at the same time. However, uh, that video wasn't coming out really good when I went back to look at it, so I'm like, uh, eh, eh, no. So I did open a bunch of Viacons, you know, here, and then a bunch bunch of shark decons. Um, but I thought today we would just compare, hey, look, Takara Viacon, Hasbro Viacon. So we're going to do that. Uh, but we're also going to open something a little more recent. It's this. This is from uh, the Azalea Protoform Warrior. This was supposed to be the TFCon Orlando exclusive. Things being how they are, we know how that went out, but I was able to order this, and I typically don't order stuff unless it comes from my buddy Joel at Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, but uh, I ordered it from 3A. I think they were the first one to have it out. And uh, it came with a note, and it said, Stay safe, Rick. Like on the receipt. It, somebody actually wrote in pen... A human, not a computer, not a printout, said, stay safe, Rick. So I thought, you know, I'm, I'm going to open it and give them a shout for, for being cool like that, for being mindful. So I got this, and I let the box sit for 24 hours before I opened the box, and then I wiped this down. Uh, but I got a feeling it was packaged with... Uh, with safety in mind, but I still took the time to wipe it down. Uh, so let's let's give it a go. So it's got a nice slip box to it, slip cover on it, which is cool. Uh, now this is a masterpiece RC figure, but it's based off the old uh, I won't even call it a prototype, a mock-up of RC. It was a wooden mock-up from uh i think the original generations book which came out in 2000 or 2001 so that's that's where this deco comes from and i think it actually has like the head inspired by that which was also inspired by the um early concept art for the film so it is sealed give you the uh quick look at the box Look, look what it has on the box, which these don't. Uh, it's a bio. It's a bio, and it even has uh, the text back on there. Uh, Zalia is a true hero of a heart of gold. I wonder if that's a... Because, you know, you say heart of gold, and then... Well, that's an old expression. You know what? Never mind. Don't worry about the bio. Let's open her up. All right. Yep, sealed. Shabooey. Doesn't want to open, so I'm just going to use my knife to open it so I don't crease the box. And that's a surprise already. I thought this was going to come packaged in uh, vehicle mode. So we have uh, extra head and faces packed away. We have blasters, extra hands, 
packed away. And, and I assume it looks like there's more uh, face plates there. Yep. Oh, look at that. We actually have the decoder and it's actually pink. It's not red, it's pink. Like a magenta. I wonder if that's because they couldn't match the color or because they did that color because the character's a girl. I wanna think it's because it's a girl. I see, see I think that's a really cool touch. And this is a solid piece of plastic. This is a, uh, man, this is like, you can cut someone with this. All right, we've got our instructions in a Ziploc bag, which is always preferred because you can seal the bag up. We got a little card. It's got the bio on the back, artwork on the front. Bios are important. And look, it's got old school fold out instructions. And what I actually appreciate it here, it actually tells you how to switch out the head. Half the time, third party stuff doesn't tell you how to switch out the head. And I'm like, uh, is there a screw? Or do, do it slide out? What do I do? Uh, and I have to go to Professor YouTube. So here she is. Right off the bat, I'm loving the colors. I am loving the colors on this. Comes in a plastic tray. It's not sealed. It's a pressure fit. That means is there's little uh, like divots here that doesn't quite snap together, but it holds it in place. Little indentations there to hold the top tray in place. This is great because you can put it back in the package uh, if you ever sell it, and uh, it'll look brand new. Um, that's an interesting feel to it. Now on the one hand, it's got some die cast and it's got a good weight. It's got a really, really good weight to it. But despite the die cast, these, this plastic here feels, I don't want to say flimsy because it, it only has a little bit of a give but it feels like if I do it wrong, it's gonna break. But I don't wanna say flimsy. It's somewhere between flimsy and where it should be. And I think it's because of how thin the panels are, these parts. I think that's why I'm getting that sensation. Do love the head on this. That is great. That is absolutely great. The hips stay together well, the legs stay together. You get, I don't know why, but with RC figures in general, third party official, you get a lot of this where it's like, whoop, and it doesn't want to stand up and you have to like put the hips out like that to make her stand up. Will she stand up? She will. No, she will, she will, we'll get there, yeah. So, solid hips. Uh, petite. Petite. I wonder how this will compare to the uh, official one. Petite. Now, I am curious how the hands pop out. It's a ball joint. So, we will replace the hands with the other hands. Ah! I do want her to hold her weapon. Man, I wish this was a Ziploc bag. Yeah, see, everything's individually sealed. Now there's something to be said for that, but I like the more, uh, you know, stuff I can open and reseal, because once I open this, there's really no point for me to keep it. So I'm not, I don't really have a complete figure then if I throw away a piece of the insert. That's how I look at it. You know, I used to keep all the little twist ties and stuff for everything. But, you know, I make sure I get two of each. Um, for official stuff, I get two of each. So the hand pops in there nice. It's tight on there. Let me uh, pop open one of these weapons. I think it's time to switch my blade. I've been uh, 
cutting a lot of tape lately. So is there a piece that connects to the weapon? Handle, perhaps? Or does it just come out? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Look at that. I love it. It's got the little little hole in there to stick a finger through. Now, I don't know if the finger can actually do that. The hand did come off as I was trying to put the blaster in there. Oh, look at that. So the finger can go through the trigger. Beautiful. That, that is awesome. That is awesome. Let's have her put her fist up. Yeah, women's rights. Yeah. I should get paid as much as you do. Damn right you should. Hey, my wife makes a lot more than I do. Like, a lot more. I mean, it doesn't help that I got laid off because of the whole, you know, apocalypse and everything, but in general, she always makes a lot more than I do. Oh, and here she is. Just standing next to a Viacon for, you know, for scale. She's already standing taller than, I think, most Autobot cars. But I kind of feel RC, G1-inspired RC does that. Nice. I'm really happy with this. I, I am satisfied with this figure. I'm going to put everything away because I'm going to play with it later. I got the kid upstairs. One of them misbehaved, Miss Casey. So she went to bed early today. I got Maddie. She's watching Onward. So I got about maybe 15 minutes before she gets bored of that. And she's like, Daddy, watch it with me. And I'm like, no. She's like, yes. And then I have to carry her to bed. So let's real quick talk about these very different packaging approaches. So with Hasbro, let's see, I got a few more. Okay. So with Hasbro, you had a, uh, a running change. Uh, actually, it wasn't a running change. This, this came in a different assortment. So uh, the cards on the back are the same, as far as I could tell. Uh, but it's the front that has changed, because now you have, uh, this is not a sticker. On here, it's actually printed on there. It comes with a DVD or, or a divid of one full episode of Transformers Prime, or as we call it internally, Prime. Uh, the bubble is the same, and there are no differences on the actual figures. So, DVD, non DVD, uh, both seem to be. Uh, Equally easy to find. I mean, they're they are harder to get now that it's 2020, and this came out what, 12, 11, 11, yeah. So, uh, but I don't particularly think one is harder to get than the other, and I don't really think there's a price difference. If anything, I think people might want this more just because it's a cleaner packaging, if they're even going to keep them in packaging. I mean, I've got a few that I'll keep in packaging, but <laughs> I've got I've got a few that need to go into the case. Ah. All right, Takara took a completely different approach when it came to Transformers Prime. Not only is it packed in a box, but it comes with uh, a Minicon S character that transforms from a weapon to a uh, Robotic animal. Uh, and later on, they made uh, actual characters like Bulkhead and Prime and Bumblebee and Starscream that would change into uh, into the weapons as well. Um, and then a lot of times you could buy the weapons separately, like on sprues on the on the actual trees, unpainted. You would pop them off the trees, assemble them, and then sticker them up. And those would come polybagged. So I can't think of anything from Takara Tomy that actually came carded for Transformers Prime. And I'm looking at my Prime 
wall over there. Nope. At one point, they were trying to get the raw files of the show to actually go back and insert these little characters into the show. That was a long conversation about how that's not going to happen. Yeah. Well, their needs are just different than what the Hasbro needs were. So, uh, but the weapons um, do transform into what they uh, visually you saw on the show. So, this one, Hasbro version, comes with a removable blaster, right? And it looks pretty close to what was on the show. Right? There's no paint on it. Whatever. This comes with a sticker sheet. This is pretty close to what comes to what was seen in the show as well. So this is actually the first time I've opened a regular Viacon from Takara. I've opened a bunch of the flying Viacons. I think there might be a general Viacon, like a Viacon car that came in gray too. Maybe I did open that one. I don't know. This is the first regular black and purple Viacon I've opened from Takara. Shoop. We've cut the tape. Cut the tape. Pretty solid box. I mean, you know, you compare, like, you go back, you think Armada, Energon, Cybertron boxes, uh, 2007 movie boxes, easily crushable. This is a solid box. This is a solid box. This is not going to get crushed and damaged very easily. All right. Ah, that is in there. All right. So, I don't think the actual insert comes out. So, here's a good example. Here is the little Minicon character. Uh, were these called deployers? Weaponizers? I forget. And they come on these trees. So, these actually came bagged in different colors. And you can buy these in, in the Asian market from Takara Tomy. And then there were like uh, premiums and exclusives and all sorts of things. So I don't think that thick cardboard insert comes out. Maybe it does. All right, so we're gonna do something we haven't done. It's been a long time since I've opened one of these. I have all the exclusive uh, Takara ones. But I opened them as soon as I got them, and it has been a long time. So maybe we just need to like relieve the pressure a little bit to pull this out. Holy crap. How did this guy get out of here? Is in there that but that is like solidly in there it's not a ta it's just a tight fit it is a super tight fit yeah it is a super super tight fit for this to come out and I don't want to tear the box see that's what I was talking about durability see the way this cardboards put together the way this insert is Everything's like pegged into each other. Super tough to protect what? This little tiny thing. Wow. It's been a long time since I opened one of those. So there are no changes, not that I can tell, on these from the pictures, but this is my first time opening one and not looking at it through my computer screen. So let's take a look. So it doesn't have the arm blaster that the Hasbro version does. I'd say it looks the same. Black looks the same. Clear parts are clear. Purple looks the same. 
give it a go. One other thing that Takara and Tomi did was include a sticker sheet, not just for the little uh, weapon, but also for the characters as well. Just to make them a little more screen accurate. Now, during this time, this was coming off of Generations and Animated, where Takara had been using the more metallic paint to make their figures different from uh, the Hasbro ones. And so people would have to import them so that you know, international collectors can get them. Yeah, so looking at this, there are some differences. There are some differences. All right, so let's start here. Bottom of the legs aren't painted. All right, the waist aren't painted. I believe these are stickers that go on him. There's no Decepticon symbol. That's going to be a sticker. There is a Decepticon tampo underneath this clear part here. Let's look at the face. Face is the same, except the Takara one has paint around the back of it. Oh, all right. So they both have the paint around the back of it, just the Takara one uses a different color purple for the light-up eye. So that's the Takara version. Hasbro one is um, not as radiant. Yeah, so with the Takara one, holding them up to the light, it's uh, it shines through, even though it's a darker plastic, it shines through. All right, let's see if there's any other discernible differences. So the waist being not being painted, the legs not being painted, the little purple detail, this is the Hasbro Takara, not being on there. Turning them around, ah, okay. So this is a whole new piece. The Hasbro one, no peg, no five millimeter port, and it's painted. Takara one has a new piece. This has been retooled to have a piece to plug in that weaponizer. It's got a five millimeter port. I'm just looking at the, the wheels and the tires. Seem to be the same. All right, the Hasbro one also has paint details on the side. The Takara one does not, which I assume would be a sticker there's also extra ports so this is the Hasbro one which has the five millimeter ports only on the back the Takara one has the five millimeter ports on the back has this brand new piece and then this has been retooled on the sides the side of the car to accept five millimeter ports and finally the Hasbro one has a Decepticon symbol you're looking right here right on the bumper of the car. The Takara one does not, which means it's a sticker. Now that I think about it, I think I actually have opened a few of these. It's just been a while. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so one other note. All right, so it's probably not gonna show up on film, but the lights underneath the clear part. So th these are the clear, the headlights, front headlights. Underneath this clear plastic part, where the headlights are, are three painted dots. The Takara one does not have it. Signifying the headlamps. There's three headlamps. And markings on the back are all the same. Just the Hasbro one has a little uh, skew number printed on the back in purple. Nothing, nothing major. See a little purple skew number on the back. Um, other than that, no other copyright changes. Inside of the doors look the same. All right. Okay. I got these from Big Bad Toy Store. This one, Takara one. This is the Takara one. They, uh, I guess they found a 
warehouse of Transformers Prime stuff from Takara, where they bought out a store or something. So this was pretty cheap. I think this was like 30 bucks. So, so that is that. We'll take a quick look at this before we wrap it up. So kind of like uh, Transmetal 2s and Beast Machines, there's like a little spark crystal. You get the same effect in here. Uh, you, I believe you put the Decepticon symbol down on the plastic and then you put this little clear green thing on top of it and oh, it's a Decepticon. So you assemble this into a weapon and that weapon transforms into like a little Ravage type of character. All the stuff we got. So, Hasbro, you get. I'll show you the stick. So, with Hasbro, you get the instructions all folded up, put underneath the, the front of the blister. Takara, there's not a whole lot of thought put into this. Like, if it fits, it ships. Takara, you get a bag, and it's folded out, you know, it's nice. Here are your sticker sets for your Viacon and your little Decepticon minion. There's another piece of info. Oh, this is to, okay, so the, the instructions. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, so it did. All right, so my bad. I said uh, this one transforms into the animal, right? Oh, it does. Yeah, it's a four-legged beast. Think like movie Ravage, and then it transforms into the blaster. They're just assembly instructions, and on the back it shows you that all the weapons are interchangeable and they can combine with the other weapons. And it's all five millimeter ports. So, a lot of times the Hasbro versions have uh, dedicated weapons. Takara versions didn't have those weapons. They had these little uh, weaponizer Minicon deployer guys that you would assemble. And this. is the catalog. There were some very, very cool figures for Transformers Prime. So all the weapons that's seen in the, in the show had these little Minicon weaponized deployer Micron Legend guys. RC's blades that she had on her arm. Transformed to a little robot. Roblox uh, Mace transformed to a little robot. Breakdown's uh, uh, shoulder cannon transformed to a robot, but it's also a little hammer as well and it turns into like an elephant thing. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The Legends guys didn't have that. There's a, man, I wish I had it out right now. There was an Optimus Prime that came out. It came out here too. It was the, it was the big one for Transformers Prime, but in Takara's version, it had uh, three of these Minicon dudes, and they would combine to form a sword. They were all their own weapon, and they would combine to form a sword, and then you can combine them into a giant type of matrix. I'll dig that out. All right, so that's cut the tape. We've cut the tape. I still have more Viacons and Sharkticons to open. If you want to see me opening those, check out last week's, or this week's episode of TFYLP, and you can see me opening them and knocking them all over and everyone laughing at me. So remember to wash your hands. If you have a question, comment, suggestion, uh, if you want to see me do a handstand, email me at cutthetape at tftalk.net. Be safe and be kind, and remember, vote. Bye.